So let's move on to understand circle from the point of view of geometry. Now, this is a very common shape that I think all of us love. You find it in the shape of this plate in which we eat our food, to the shape of the tire or maybe the dial of a watch and many more. Now, let's. Um, I think we love the shape because it's easier to roll rather than dragging things. The shape is very special. It's even the shape of our planet if you look at it from far away. Now, let's move on to understand this shape, what we call the circle, from the point of view of geometry. Now, what you see here is a point A. It's forming a segment between these two endpoints. Now, let's see if I had one more point that is at the same distance from this point A. And another point which is at the same distance from point A and another and another and another. And I keep drawing all of these points. I keep marking all the points such that the segments that are formed are of the same length. So if I continue drawing like this, the shape that I'm getting, I'm sure you can guess it by now, is something that looks like a beloved circle. One moment, let me complete this. So if I, if there were more and more points that I would place, so I've been putting these points at a distance, but if I put all the points besides each other that are at the same distance from this center point A, then what we get is what we call a circle in geometry. Now that's pretty easy, right? So uh, now one important thing that we need to understand here. is that let me define it once again so a circle is a collection of all the points that are at the same distance from a given point which is the center of the circle which is a in our case so i could actually have all of these points on the circle i'm just joining them together and the shape that we get is a circle now, one very important thing is that so all these segments that you see, whether it's from A to U or maybe A to N. So these small case letters is for the segment that you already know. But another way of naming a segment is also by the two endpoints. So you see that all of these segments that start from A and maybe end at a point on the circle, all of these have the same length because obviously these points are at the same distance from the center. So this is what we actually call a radius. So a radius is a segment that connects a point, a center or the center point of the circle to any point of the circle. So I hope that's pretty clear to start with. I'll leave you with a little animation of what we did.